setting up for Motion Builder. Um, and today I will show you a couple things in Motion Builder. First of all, we'll start with the uh, plugin installation. It's very straightforward, but I'd like to show you how it, uh, how it works. So I have the installer uh, here uh, visible. Just click next. Um, it will install the plugin files into a separate directory. So you have all the files you need for the installer locally. Um, it will detect which version of Motion Builder you have uh, installed. So I'm using Motion Builder 2020 and it detects that. Simply click next. You have the license agreement also uh, agreed to that. Then you can add it as a menu shortcut. We're not gonna add that, it's not necessary. Uh, and then it will install. That's it, the installation is very straightforward. Since we had Motion Builder open already, I'm going to restart it so the device will show up. Just uh, simply close the application and open up Motion Builder again. Let's see, okay. So now in the device panel, let me make this a little bigger. We have a new device here, which is the Manus Glove. Uh, to start using, simply select it and drag it into the viewport here. Then, um, as you can see, it is already detecting the gloves that I'm using. Um, we're going to create a model binding for this showcase. Um, when you're setting it up for your own setup, you can create your own model binding uh, skin to whatever mesh you're using. Simply select create, and now the model binding has been added. I will move a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. Let's uh, zoom in. Um, so this is for the right glove. I will also add a uh, device for the left glove. So just drag it in and also create a new binding for the left glove and select left hand. Um, I will now click on online as well as for the other device. I will click online as well. And you can see both of the gloves are working. Um, for clarity, I will remove one of the devices. I will remove the left one, so it's easier to see what I'm doing with my right hand. Um, so this is the right one, this is the left one. Simply uh, delete this one, and then here in the scene, we're also gonna delete the left one. It's like this, then select all the branches, and then delete everything. So now we're just left with the right hand. I will move the view a little bit better, so you can see uh, what I'm doing with my hand. Uh, both on camera, let's rotate the view a bit, as well as in the real world. So, as you can see, it is using the orientation, it's using the bend information for my hand. So I'm bending my knuckles, all of them, I'm bending the other joints, I'm moving my fingers around, twisting my hand. You can also see the uh, thumb moving, this joint and that joint, um, and I will also show you the overstretching. So you can overstretch your fingers and you can stretch your fingers in this direction, as well as the finger spreading. So if you want to count, like you can create those kinds of uh, animations. And what is nice about the Motion Builder plugin is you can combine the glove data together with whatever you're using. If you're using a object track setup or if you're using a motion capture suit, you can combine the glove data with your model binding um, for whatever you want.